Hello! We are back for another episode of How Do I Play Eve? And uh, last time we uh, started the Epic Arc Chain, the level 1 Epic Arc Chain for the Sisters of Eve here at Arnon. And uh, we're gonna dive right back into that in a moment. But uh, first we need to check our skill queue, which we always should. And uh, I actually missed out a couple of hours of skill training here because of uh, midsummer and then I was busy with work, so I haven't. Uh, so it's actually been almost a week now since the last episode. But I do remember that last time we trained the social skill, so we can now train the negotiation skill. So let's uh, put that up ahead of uh, this skill. And. Uh, we also trained up our gunner skill, so now we can actually buy and inject those skills that I talked about in our uh, early episode. I think it was a surgical strike. Just double checking so we haven't already injected it, and we haven't, so we need to go. Uh, by the look of it, this station is the closest one, two jumps away. We need to go there and buy it. But that's a low security station, so we don't want to go there. Um, for this video series, I will only stick to uh, high sex systems and uh, not expose our character or our ship to any major danger. So uh, I th think we have to go a couple of extra jumps here. Let's see which would be the closest one, except for this one. By the look of it, this station here. And it's also a Lossex system. <laughs> um, then we have this five jumps away. Yeah, we, we can go there. Let's go there. And uh, I haven't really thought of anything to uh, talk about. Uh, I, I feel like I've talked about it so much already, so... I'll probably just edit out this part here where I'll fly and pick up the skill book. Here we are now at Sun Chill, and I've purchased the uh, skillbook circuit surgical strike and trajectory analysis. Surgical strike simply increases our damage of our turrets, while uh, trajectory analysis increases the fall off range of our turrets. Um, oh, there, there we go. If we see here. We have a fall off range of 16 kilometers right now, and once we train train the skill, it will increase by 5% per, per level. So, uh, um, and and since we can inject the skills, you should always do that. Ne never fly around with skill books in your cargo bay if you can inject the skills, and and even even if you can't inject the skills but still have the skills, try to avoid flying around with them. Just keep them on your station until you can inject them. But uh, I want to train these to level 1 straight away, so I'm going to train now to level 1, train now to level 1, and uh, I should probably open up the skill training queue and queue up a few more levels into these. So I'll add another level of circle strike, another level of trajectory analysis. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> and. Uh, If we, we, we can see here that small hybrid turret only co covers this huge, huge part of our 24-hour uh, skill plan. So uh, we, we can push this out to the very edge out here, but, but if we knock it off, it will disappear from our uh, training queue because we are still on a trial account. But uh, I will try and uh, push these out as far as possible, and I don't think I'll be able to queue up another level in traditional analysis without knocking off a small hybrid turret. And I feel like I do want to turn that up to level 5, because uh, uh, to, be to begin with, it's 5% bonus to small hybrid turret damage is a big deal. 
But at level 5 we'll also be able to uh, train the small railgun specialization skillbook and the small blaster specialization skillbook. And uh, what these skillbooks do is that they increase the damage of railguns and blasters. Uh, and they also allow us to use these, uh, well we only need small arbiter level 5 to be able to use the tech 2 version of these guns, but we need the specialization skillbook to be able to use the tech 2 ammunition that you can load into these guns. Tech 2 ammunition can only be loaded into Tech 2 guns, and uh, these uh, Tech 2 ammunitions they, they make a really big difference in PvP. So if you're or aiming at doing PvP at some point, which I kind of assume you are, because uh, PvP is uh, quite a big part of this game. But uh, you should you shouldn't you shouldn't rush into it if you. You should take your time getting into it, so to speak. But uh, these uh, Tech 2 ammunition can make a huge impact on a PvP fight. So they're very important to have. And wait, don't forget to hit apply, and we'll close that. And uh, now that I'll fly back to Arnon, uh, I'm gonna cut out that part again. But uh, if you. In case you might have forgotten how, how to find your way back to Arnon, just open your personal assets and uh, check uh, check if you have any assets in Arnon, then Arnon will be listed here. Just right click and set destination. Or you can open the map, click the uh, little uh, thing up here in the corner and type in Arnon. And we can see uh, the solar system can be found here, and there are four NPC stations in Arnon, and the station that we're doing, that where Sister, Sister Alitura can be found is the, is the Sisters of Eve Bureau station, that's where we're doing the epic arc. So, uh, and then you obviously just right click and set destination. Another way is to uh, open up the journal, and we can see here that Sister Alitura has offered us another mission, then we just uh, read, right click, read details, and uh, we can see that the drop application is the for this mission is uh, the station where Sister Alitura can be found. So just right click, set destination. There, so there are a couple of ways to find your way back, but uh, and different ways might work for you depending on uh, if you have any assets there or not. I, th I think you can use the agent finder to um, store line maybe? Nah. Uh, may maybe not the uh, agent finder, but uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna fly back there. I'm starting to lose lose track of where what I'm talking about. <laughs> And now we're back in Arnon, so let's uh, see what Sister Alitura wants us to do. We got the We got the information from Heben. Neben, I should say. But there's a problem. It appears Abre Azil, the ship's cook, cook, has shipped out as well. There's no way they would all get reassignment so soon after an incident like this. They're being shuffled through the system so we don't find them. And then there's the drones. We need to find Obre, if we allow this long enough, if we follow this long enough, we might discover who doesn't want the truth uncovered. Oh yeah, sorry, trying to read too fast here. Anyway, we need to uh, find the chef, and it's in this system, so no need to go very far. Vital staff, a good ship's cook is a valuable asset. It's much easier to keep morale up when you don't have to rely solely on generic frozen food. Real chefs who are willing to work in the often cramped conditions aboard ships are in high demand. Accept. Close. Undock. And let's right click in space, agent missions. 
pursuing a chef encounter what's the case of the zero. Now, if uh, you, you do did like me and flew to a uh, uh, school station to buy some skill books, you might want to uh, might want to scroll go through all of your uh, categories here in your character sheet to see what other skill books you can train. Because here, there's a uh, Hey, could you give me a hand here? The damn thing took out my propulsion. I'm dead in the water. More like dead in the space. In the emptiness of space. Anyway, as I was saying, you might want to pick up some of these skill books here, especially your cruiser skill book, because uh, you, you will definitely fly cruisers at some point. And uh, that would uh, allow you to do some harder missions, like level 2 missions. Let's see. Uh, he's over there, and he is in a... What looks looks to be like a heron, but I think it has a little bit different color than an actual heron. And I don't think you can fly any heron lookalike ship with this skin. <laughs> so this is, I think this is the only time you get to see one. Anyway, we're going to speed towards him and uh, pick him up. And be prepared for any nade-dwellers that may want to shoot us. And now we're getting trouble. The nade dwellers I was talking about. <laughs> and we don't actually have to shoot them, but I'm going to shoot them anyway. For the lols. Rogue drones? Hmm. Well, bring Asim back here and we'll see what we can do for him. Okay, so it seems like we do have to kill everything here. Since we got the drop-off icon here on the mission, I just assumed we didn't need to kill these drones. But let's head back to the station. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Put him into the item hanger and uh, let's talk to Sister Alizor. Complete mission. This drone involvement is certainly worrying news. Let me see what other leads I have for you. Request mission. We've located the doctor from the wrecked ship. Unfortunately, we located her by a way of a ransom demand. We want this doctor alive, so we're going to pay it. Luckily, they just want planetary currency, so the real East value is minimal. I'll put the money in your hangar when you accept this mission. 
I need you to take the ransom to the designated drop location. They were to drop off the doctor as soon as you drop off the money. That's the plan anyway. I'll be prepared for a dog crust just in case. So we're going to be granted a lot of money for this mission. <laughs> Except. And uh, we uh, are just going to put that up in our cargo. And then we unlock. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, feel like I, I'm, you know, re repeating the same things that I've already done before, uh, sh showing off combat and such for this mission. And, and this uh, epic arc, it is mostly combat all the way through, and, and it kind of gradually gets harder and harder. But, uh, so, so I think I, I will end this video here soon. Uh, there's a... Uh, there's, uh, a few things I still want to talk about, such as joining a player corporation and uh, a few other things. But I think uh, I think that will need an entire episode for itself. So this is so yeah, uh, that will probably be the next episode, and that will be the end of this video series as well. I might still do more e videos, of course, uh, about all the stuff. If you like to hear that. Could go deeper into PvP, I suppose. If uh, if uh, you feel like you want to know a little bit what you're getting yourself into. Anyway, here's the uh, cargo container that we were to drop off the money in. So uh, we can see that. Now that I opened it, it's empty, so we need to select our ship here and drag a lot of money into the uh, dead drop. That worked out well. I wonder how much cash we can get if we kill you and keep the doctor. Those, those double crossing bastards. You can see how that we we're having issues hitting this guy. Uh, I think he's a little too far away for the kind of ammunition we have. But uh, try leveling out your ship so that you're uh, either flying straight away from them or straight towards them if you're having issues hitting. But yeah, I'm getting too far away for that ammo type, so I need to change to my really long range ammo. And now we can see we're getting perfect hits, even a penetrate. Leveling out, so you're either flying like straight towards the target or straight away from it, also makes it easier for them to hit you, of course, so always keep that in mind. And uh, they dropped a the cargo container here, I'm uh, assuming the doctor will be in that cargo container.
And you and you know what? Let's uh, let's head back to the dead drop container and see if we can't can't take back a lot of money because uh, since we killed the guys, that we're gonna pick it up, or that we're gonna trade the pile of money for the doctor with uh, got shot. We may we may as well you know take it instead of leaving it out here. <laughs> That item is not yours to take. Ah, oh, how unfortunate. Let's uh, go back to the station. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. You handle yourself well out there. Dr. Elba is cooperating with us. Request mission. We've gone a long way, but we found the key survivor. Her name is Tahaki Karin. She was an engineer on the main ship from the Rune Fleet, and she's signed on to the crew of the Heartbreak. She may be the only one who knows what really happened. You know the drill by now? Get out there and get her before someone else does. I'm fairly certain we'll, there'll be someone there to shoot at you. And now we need to retrieve the engineer, so accept. On dock. Get me out of here! This thing might explode any second now. Close. And we can see here's the heartbreak, and the engineer is probably inside. And here are some more nade dwellers that probably wants to shoot us. There we go, now we just need to pick up the engineer. Oh, I forgot to turn on the afterburner this whole time. <laughs> All. 
and let's get clear of this off obstacle. Kinda look like a... I think I called this Hyperion in a previous episode, but that's actually a Megathron. A gallant battleship. Warp drive active. Excellent. Karin is being transported to a more secure CCTV location for full debriefing with our people. Don't worry, we'll keep Concord well informed of our progress. Request mission. Remember the strange data core you found? We've determined that it must have been made by a rogue ruin of some kind. I'm sending you to Galant Space, where I've contacted someone who can help you continue this investiga investigation. Her name is Delphine Xarasier, an agent for Queerdron, and the daughter of their chief researcher. We've uh, tapped out our other leads for now, which leaves us in, in need of more information on drones, and she can certainly give you that. So now we need to head over to Galad Space so, um, and talk to this agent, so we just right click here, Citizen Nation. And, uh, at some point we in this epic arc we will come back to Arnon, so if you you know you have have some stuff on the station like skill books or items that you might want to use in the future, you can leave them behind here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna check here quickly if we pass by the Dixie Banner chance, and we do, so I'm gonna so I'm actually gonna load this all up into our main ship and sell this stuff while we pass through the Dixie anyway. Remember the Dixie is the major trade hub in Galant Space. And I shall probably buy some more ammunition as well, uh, because we have we have used plenty of antimatter matter charge S, but I see we have used uh, quite some lead charge S as well. So always be sure to keep your supply of ammo up. So unlocked. And here we are in Dodixie, so I'm just gonna open up the market here and uh, search for antimatter. And there we have antimatter charge, yes, and uh, that's the station we need to dock at. And uh, let's see how many we have in our bay right now. We have nearly 2,000, so I'm gonna buy, let's say, a thousand more. There we go. And I think I think I'll be fine for the other ammo types for now but uh while we are here we should probably see if we can't upgrade our ship a little bit more i've uh tr whoops that's a lot i've trade uh, some more gunnery skills so we are doing a lot more dps now than we did before so we might not need uh two magnetic field stabilizers here to you know, deal the at least the hundred damage that I want them to do. So if we take off one of these, we're still breaking a hundred damage. So uh, I'm thinking we can we can probably you know boost our tank a little bit more instead by putting in a damage control. I'm not sure if we can use the damage control too yet. No, we can't. So uh, let's see. We, we need uh, hull upgrades level four. And I think we, yeah, we have level three, so um, can't can't quite do that. But uh, let's see if we can't. What about a magnetic field stabilizer two? So instead of uh, using a what? So 
So instead of using a damage control to get a bit more tank, we'll just uh, put on a... No, I can't use that later. Need weapon upgrades. Level 4. <laughs> oh well, my attempt at upgrading the ship while we're in our trade hub failed. But it's... Uh, all, as you train skills, it's always good to see if you can't upgrade your ship in one way or another. In this case, it doesn't seem like I am able to do that. Let's see if I can use medium shield extender 2s. Nope, that new shield upgrade is level 4. How about uh, sh shield rechargers? Variation, shield recharger 2. Nope, that also needs shield upgrades. What about the afterburners then? Uh, variation, afterburners. Uh, no, that needs afterburners level 4. <laughs> Oh well. Let's uh, load up the ammunition here and stack that up. Uh, and we shall move this into the item hanger and sail these. Sail. Immediately sail. Sail. There we go. So, uh, I, I, I don't really think there's much we can do at uh, this trade hub right now so uh, just pick up just pick up uh, the ammunition and uh, then I guess we'll head back out and as before I think I'll edit out this uh, flying around parts we've already seen this I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but uh, here's somebody who uh, claims to have an API key proven is giveaway, and uh, yeah, we can see the, the dude is uh, this guy here, and he says he's giving away billions and billions of this. This is most, you know, even if this looks looks like it could work, it's most likely a scam. And to lure you in even more, if you just give them a small amount, like uh, 50 million is probably a small amount to this guy. And he'll, he'll probably give you back 100, 100 million, but or the five times that he claims. But uh, if you then give him, say, 1 billion, he won't give you back anything. So uh, it's most likely a scam, and e even if uh, there are some clues as it to uh, that it might not be a scam, it's probably still, still a scam. And here we are now in Harrogate, and uh, remember we need to talk to this agent for uh, for this mission. So uh, we'll just talk to this agent straight away. Okay, we, looks like we need to talk to this guy. And uh, oh, I I didn't accept this mission. Ah, I need to go back there and accept the mission. How silly of me! I'll edit out this part. And now we are back again at Harrow Gates, and this time with the mission. So I'm uh, going to talk to uh, Delphine Xeras here right now, and there we go. That mission is complete, and uh, she still, still says she has nothing for us. <laughs> but uh, we'll just close this window again, and then talk to her again, and we, she should offer our us our, the next mission. Altura said you needed more information about some kind of drone problem. The sisters have referred a few promising capsuleers in the past, so I'm willing to give you a chance, but I can't do anything else until this mess I'm dealing with has been taken care of. If you could retrieve some drones from Hargaret, that would speed things up considerably. You see, every drone in that system has ceased responding to signals. That just doesn't happen with Federation technology technology, unless the drones have been destroyed, our research and development teams need whatever components still exist in order to analyze the mains. Fly out there and bring back one of the drones. 
when a part sent might remain. You'll need to be careful, there were no signs of other ships in the sink system, so I have no idea what could have destroyed our drones. So all we have to do is undock shoot stuff. The first drones in the gallant Kaldari war were little more than mines with proximity detonators and limited movement. But soon they advanced to a level where a single drone rivaled a solar fighter's capabilities. The drones reversed the tide of war and helped create a stalemate between the two empires. Except Undock. And yes, uh, remember I mentioned that the different factions are at war with each other, and the uh, basically the Galents are at war with the Kaldarian, and we are Kaldarian. And right now we're in Galent space, and right from the start, when you start a new game and a new character, you 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 can already the empires don't hate you that much that it won't let you into their space. So that's why the Galant let me fly around in their space right now. But say if I would enlist in faction warfare and fight for the Kaldari, then I would eventually piss off the Galant to the point where they wouldn't let me just fly around in their space anymore. This here looks like an ogre, which is a large Galant drone. I'm assuming I need this cargo container here. Corrupted drone, yeah, that's what we need. So, so I'm gonna start heading towards it right now. And those drone has been taken care of. Doesn't seem like we get anything more to fight, but uh, you, you never know. There might be drones spawning when they loot the corrupted drone container, so make sure you're ready for another fight by the time you loot it. Same thing if you have a mission where you need to destroy something in space, often shooting at those things will spawn additional waves of enemies, so always make sure you're ready for a fight before you do so. There we go. Doesn't seem like we'll get anything else to fight, so I'm just gonna go back to the station. Warp drive active. Complete mission. Wonderful. The RD team has been waiting for you to return. Are you available for another mission? I think we're uh, running short of time here, so uh, I'm gonna call this episode here and uh, fly safe. <laughs>